fingers and my back is hurting. I'm like, whoosh, whoosh. I don't have to take Tylenol or ibuprofen 800, which tears up my stomach. One of the big ones that I was glad to get off of was um, blood pressure medication. Um, so I'm off of that completely. And um, I recently went off the beta blocker. Hey, Stephanie, thanks so much for coming and spending some time with me today. Of course. So Stephanie, I'm, I'm really excited to hear your story. So can you start off just by telling us a little bit about how you were feeling prior to coming to QHS? Sure. I, um, I was on the mend, had been quite sick before and was on the mend. Uh, but when the QT wave device arrived, things got exponentially better. Um, meaning like energy levels. Um, the biggest thing for me was the, the first, it's kind of embarrassing to share, but the, the first day that, that I woke up, I actually thought I was dead because I felt so good. <laughs> like when I woke up, cause my, I was, I am in a season where there's a lot of pull caregiving and multiple businesses and teenagers and one's very much rebelling. And it's, it's just, there's a, a lot of people have a lot of life going on and then went through a divorce and we thought we had the case like all wrapped up and it came out horribly ugly and he got everything and I got nothing and it was just such a gut gut wrench and I thought okay I've been here before this is happening for me <laughs> can't figure out how life works right now so I was in the, I was in that process but the reality of how much I had to pay him to be able to keep the house in a year was on my brain every single morning when I woke up. Like my jaw would be tight, my heart would be racing, just when my eyes opened. I think I was even thinking about it in my sleep. How am I gonna pay him that much money? Every day was, and since then the Lord has given me a revelation that it's not all about working to pay Jean. <laughs> it's much more about the community and being, you know, walking with him and all of that. But for six months, it was just brutality on me thinking, how's this gonna affect my tenants? How's it gonna affect my family? How am I gonna, and I was just freaking out. So. And, but I would get up and I would use all my tools, my breath work, my diva, my Bible, my praise and worship, my stretching, all the stuff. But it would take me hours before I could face the world. The first day I had my QT wave device, I woke up and I started looking around going, am I dead? Like, because I couldn't hear my chatter. I didn't have the racing and tight chest. I didn't have to take a deep breath in and consciously invite the Holy Spirit in, you know, like I woke up and I, I like I said, I honestly thought for a second I was dead. <laughs> I was really glad I wasn't, but that was, that was, it was like, obviously all of that didn't change, but it was like, it was outside of me. So just from the time I went to bed with the QT wave device to the time I woke up, instead of waking up all just tearing up my body and mind emotions, and I would use my tools all day long. It was just hard to, to stay in that place. You know, I, would, I wouldn't to stay in a good place from the place I woke. It was very exhausting <laughs> and time. So anyway, I'm very, I love, I'm so, that's why I've gotten more involved with this because it's just been so transformative, so transformative. I work on cars in one of my businesses. And so if I do a lot of cars and my back is hurting, I'm like, whoosh, whoosh. I don't have to take Tylenol or ibuprofen 800, which tears up my stomach or anything like that. I just put my kitchen wave device on my back and I'm good to go. Sometimes I use ice too, but not at the same time. Nice. That's really great. And then I, what about medication? Oh yeah. Um, so I have been doing a lot more breath work. So I think this is a combination of multiple things that I'm doing, like a group that I'm in and, and the breath work that I do. And then the QT wave just makes everything exponentially better is my opinion. Um, because my, my feet were already in some of these things, but now it's like, it's just, they're all, they're taking on this whole, I don't, I don't know how much of it is me and how much of it is a QT wave device and how much it is with the collective and the time that we're in now. Right. But, um, so I, the, one of the big ones that I was glad to get off of was um, blood pressure medication. I'd been on that. I hadn't been on it very long, three, four, five years, but too long for age 51. Um, so I'm off of that completely. And um, I recently went off the beta blocker. 
Yeah. That's awesome. Is there anything else you've noticed with the QT wave? I require less sleep. Um, I don't require my 20 minute power naps near as often, which is great. Um, I did get one headache. I used to get migraines really bad before breath work. And um, I had a bad headache just several days ago for, for the first time in a long time. And I didn't even think about putting the QT wave device on. That's how bad things were going. Somebody called and goes, you do have your device in your head that you're always talking about, right? And I was like, no, actually I don't. Thank you for calling and asking me. It's going on right now. And it was gone in like three minutes. And and I'm like, I had started, I'd been to urgent care and had to start a medical dose pack and didn't even think about the Q2 wave device because I was just so deep in all of the stuff and couldn't believe the stuff on top of stuff. On top. It was like, every time I turned around, I'm like, all right, it's all happening for me. That must be getting ready to be really juicy around here. Cause this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So someday we are going to be able to have a do-over where we have every cell in our body is going to be 30 years old, but we get to take all that experience that we've earned through the decades with us. What, what lights you up? What excites you about that? Having more time to share what I've learned. Cause it was a little bit depressing to come to later forties, I maybe I'm slow before I started figuring out how life really worked and what's, what really matters. And, um, that has given me so much peace and joy and relief. And I'm, I still have other things, but like, as you get older and the wisdom, you, then you, I almost felt like I was running out of time. Like now I'm learning, but I'm running out of time and strength and energy to go and share with everybody is what I was thinking in 20 years, I won't be enough time. You know, or eight, 30 years, you know how long you're going to make it. So I am very excited that I will have 30 year old cells and, and all of the wisdom to have more time to serve people. Nice. You Further can on. teach what you've learned, pass it on. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Oh, very that's much. wonderful. So will you have, will you come back and do part two after your do over? I absolutely will. Tracy, I'll come on with you anytime. Awesome. That's great. So what would you like to stay in closing, Stephanie? I would love to encourage anyone if they're on the fence, absolutely get involved. It is absolutely just, it's been a miracle in so many ways that Tracy and I don't have time to talk about. I could go on about my stepdad, who's a member who can't speak for himself. We can maybe do that in another interview. Um, it's just so profound. And the group of people are so genuine and so loving. And it's truly a miracle for such a time as this. So I'm very grateful to be involved and um, can't wait to share it with the world. Awesome. And bring your stepfather. Let's do it. Okay. I, I love hearing every unique story and they're all different. I have to say yours was unique. I've never heard that one, but it's yours. So you get to, you get to own it and create it. Yeah. So Okay, my dear Stephanie, thank you so much for coming to spend time with me today. And thank you. I love seeing your face on our programs, on our projects. So I always recognize that beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making this QHS project fly. This Valorous Admin team, thank you. The key community welcomes you. Thank you for making your home QHS healthy and happy. Thank you for helping us place QH centers all around the world. Together, hand in hand, we make miracles happen. QuantumHealingSystems.org Thank you.